Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Several people have asked uh, about back stuff. That is, if you've got some issues with back pain and, and the like, what are some things we can do with that? And one thing that comes immediately to mind is some of the exercises that I have, we've done here under the heading of um, the uh, reclaiming lost territory exercises. There are exercises that are warm up exercises, which I do a lot in my classes. And, uh, and uh, I think uh, it'd be good to, to play around with those a little bit and then we'll go on to other stuff, but it'd be good, a good way to get things, get things moving. So um, uh, let's take a, I want you to stand up. Let's, uh... okay, so well, the first thing you wanna do is to help release the lower back, it, it helps to get sung kwa. That is, you wanna get your, your hip, jo hip joints uh, freed up of muscular tension, which then allows you to release the butt muscles and then also lets go of some of the lower back tension. So uh, one exercise we can do for that is uh, put your uh, right foot forward and pick up your, your left heel. So you're just lightly on the toe of your left foot. And you want to feel your central equilibrium. That is, you want to feel the weight centered on your right foot, your body vertical, and have the uh, centering around the, the, the ball of the foot. And so the idea here is you first you just push away with your right leg, you're kind of as if you're gonna lift up and then uh, release down and spiral down to the right, and then turn to the left, and then turn to the right. And so back and forth like that, nice and easy, a very smooth, soft swing kind of motion there where you're just rotating very gently. And you're releasing down, down, down into that right leg. And you're releasing the, the tendency of the bodies to the leg to push away from the ground and lift up. So you're releasing down, just going back and forth nice and easy like this and feeling what it feels like to have no resistance in your hip joint and in the muscles surrounding the hip joint, your qua. So we're getting sung. In. Good, now go into your, your left foot, feel the ball of your left foot, set the left knee, pick up your, the heel of your right foot. You wanna get vertical again also. Notice here that I'm not leaning back, you know, I'm not leaning forward, I'm just nice and vertical, feeling my center line going right down through the ball of my foot. So push away and then release down, spiral down to the left, and then turn to the right, and then turn to the left. So this pushing away activates those young tendencies of the muscles to, to contract. And then the releasing down, spiraling down, allows us to get sung. So now we are releasing into the supporting network of the leg. And that is where you're primarily the connective tissue system. That's doing the work and the muscles are acting in support of that. But the real key here is having an awareness of, of the releasing the qual letting go of that, how much can I let go? And, and also noticing if there's a tendency to sashay to the side, then you don't wanna do that. You wanna just rotate around that central pole. Okay, good. Now put your left foot forward, pick up your right heel. Same deal here. You're gonna push away and spiral down to the left and turn to the right. Nice and easy. And as you do this, you also want to reach for the crown of the head. Feel all the other cool stuff that we do in the three pillars. Reach with your elbows, 
Relax your shoulders. Feel your index fingers. You want to have that sense of, of energetic coherence as well. But we're primarily letting go of this muscular tension and getting very, very soon. Tuck in the chin and open up the jade pillow gate. And as you're turning, it doesn't matter how far you turn. This is not like a kind of nothing like that. It's just very soft, very gentle. The key here is qua awareness. Can I, how much can I release and trust that leg? And what this is doing also as you release is letting go of lower back tension. Your muscles are contracting, releasing, contracting, releasing. So you give yourself a little internal massage as you do that. Uh, now pick, uh, pick up your front heel, your right heel, feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee, push away from the earth. You're lifting up and then ah, floating down, spiraling down, turning, turning nice and easy, very gentle. And not a lot of huffing and puffing in this one, but you get a workout nonetheless, just by releasing and feeling this yin support of your leg, the support of the connective tissue. Yeah. Okay. So feet uh, hip width. And now we're going to, uh, we're going to open the jade pillow gate and that's uh, even more. We're going to lengthen the, the connective tissue and the muscles along the, uh, the back of the neck. You can do it by, uh, you know, just feel into that point right there at the base of the skull where the where the, the spine enters into the, uh, the cranium. And we're gonna pivot from that point. So as you inhale, you, you lift up your chin and exhale, reach down with your chin. And feel that lengthening at the back of your neck. So by doing this, you are, activating your jingshan, your spirit of vitality. But you're also doing something structurally by releasing tension there, you're giving a signal to your spine to relax. If it's tense in the neck, then it's going to, the rest of your body is going to get tense as well. And so this by releasing the at the topmost vertebra, you uh, allow the rest of the spine to start to let go. Good. All right, now reach out with your right arm and reach your head to the left and feel that lengthening along your neck, shoulder, down your arm, and rotate and feel around, change the position of your arm till you find where it's doing you the most good. You can move your head too and feel that. So by lengthening this, your neck, your shoulder, etc., you also free up the uh, tension in, in the back. Now go to the other side, reach the head, reach with your fingers, lengthen, feel that stretch there. Uh, you're letting go. It's an internal lengthening. Good. Rotate the head. And you're exploring the range of motion as you do this. Reaching with the crown of your head as you do it, 
So you're lengthening the spine, lengthening the neck vertebra, vertebrae as you, as you rotate. And you're also exploring and finding out where you might have little hangups in your neck rotation. Return the other way. You want to but you want to create space between the vertebrae and, and uh, release the muscular tension that's pinning those vertebrae into a compressed state. Good. Now we're going to do a turkey head, which is basically you push your face forward like this and then pull it back. So again, we're pivoting from the jade pillow gate. We're creating space there. Good. Now we're going to uh, we're going to roll down the spine. And so the idea, basic idea is that you're going to begin at the top and first work with the cervical or neck vertebrae. And you're going to release those, bring your chin to your chest, you're going to release those. Then you're going to release your thoracic vertebrae, which are your upper spine. And you kind of go down like this. Notice how I'm stacking up the vertebrae underneath as I do that. We're not doing this, this is just demonstration here. And then you get down and release the lumbar, which is the lower back there. And then we get to the bottom, we straighten our knees and then we, we continue to drop. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start that. To begin with, stack everything up so you're nice and vertical, reaching with the crown of your head. And as you do this, you're gonna continue to reach out where you're lengthening the spine. So, and use your breath, deep breaths, very soft. And so you begin and open up the jade pillow gate, the topmost vertebra. We're working with the cervical spine now. And try to release them one at a time by keeping the vertebrae underneath the, the one you're working on, keeping that stacked vertically and just letting go of the muscular tension that holds the one you're focusing on. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the thoracic vertebrae. This is the upper back. Each time you exhale, you feel yourself letting go of some muscular tension. Doesn't have to be precise, you just, gradually increasing your spinal awareness. Usually by the time you have back pain, you've already missed a few of the, the clues that your body is sending you. So we're, by increasing your awareness, your back awareness, you can spot point sooner where thing where the before the trolley jumps the tracks. Now the lumbar vertebrae, that's the lowest, the lowest of uh, five vertebrae. Make sure you release uh, your tension in your butt and in your legs as you do this. Keep your chin to your chest. Rolling down. Knees are unlocked, round to their bent. Take down. Good, now you're gonna straighten your knees and continue to drop. But as you inhale, 
come up just a little bit. And then as you exhale, drop a little lower. So you're just using your body weight to, to uh, drop, your, uh, drop your torso. And now bend your knees, drop your butt, and start to come up, straightening, beginning with the lumbar, starting to stack them up again. Now go to your thoracic vertebrae, your upper back. Start to straighten them out. Now your cervical vertebrae, your neck vertebrae. You feel that uh, the neutral posture there with everything stacked up. And just consciously release any extraneous muscular tension you might feel. Your legs and your butt, your back, your neck. Feel very soon. Uh, now hands come up. Yeah. Arch your back. Open the chest, open the shoulders, reach. Breathe, allow the weight of your arm to just open the chest and shoulders. And then come up and round the back. So it looks like this, you're rounding the back. And then as you inhale, you come up and arch your back and open. And exhale, and round your back, and inhale, and exhale. And continue. Now we're going to do something called knocking on the door. Basically, you're, you set your elbow and then you move back like this, which kind of opens up your shoulder and chest. And the other hand goes the opposite direction. So you're going one, two, and then you reverse it and you go one, two. And nice and easy, just gently asking your muscles, your connective tissue, to open up a little bit. You're expanding your range of motion. You're kicking some of the rust off of the uh, your body mind as it's gotten a little bit smaller and more contracted over the years. So we're kind of reversing that. We're reclaiming lost territory here. Ah, relax. So push away from the earth and then spiral down and to get very soon. Reach out with your elbows, reach with the crown of your head. And just feel the energy circulating throughout your, your whole system. 
a lot of what we do is uh, uh, work is, is is we do we work with Nei Chi that is internal Chi and internal Qigong exercises Nei, uh, so it's a Nei Gong and then what we're doing here is this a little more like Wei Gong which is external that is we're moving the Chi by creating more uh, movement in the body and both are important for your overall health and well-being. So now we're going to do a, um, a big circles. And this is cool because we're going to arch the back and reach around like this, and then round the back, come, coming down, sink down, squatting down as you come down like this, and then up, and arch the back again. So that's the, uh, that's the drill there. So I'll do it sideways so you can see you can follow along so here we go so we're going to inhale arch the back open and then exhale sink and around the back and inhale and exhale sink down arms are very relaxed reaching but not tensing you're exploring the range of motion. Good. Now reverse it. Your inhale as you arch your back, arms come up. Exhale, reach out, sink down. And inhale, arch, exhale, rounding the back. And close. And push away and sink and release get very soon. And just let your arms hang and feel them unwinding. Feel the accumulated muscular tension of decades just kind of dripping off your fingertips. And let them, let the, uh, the tissues, the, the Connective tissues, the muscle fibers, et cetera, kind of unwind like, like uh, an old style telephone with a cord and everything. So let it hang there and just let it unwind. And as you do it, pay attention to the chi in your hands as you do that. And now hands come up the center and then reach out to the sides, palms down. Notice that my elbows are dropped. My wrists are above my elbows, right above my shoulder height. I'm reaching out with my fingers. So notice like that. Not, so bring my shoulder, weight, shoulder blades together and back. And the idea is you're just making small circles with your fingertips, moving from the rotator cuff. So you're reaching out, and the key to this is you don't want the elbow to come up like that. You want to drop the elbow. And feel the, uh, relax the shoulders and, and feel into the, uh, into the action there. The energy moving through the shoulders. The shoulders themselves not doing much work. They're still rotating the arms, which is what a good rotator cuff should do. But it, you're letting go of the other extraneous muscular tension. Good, now palms up and go the other way.
And then relax. And let them hang again. Just Good, now step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi. And just relax into the stillness, you know, the emptiness there. And feel the motion and stillness, all the activity that's occurring on inside your body. Okay, would you have a seat, please? I just want to check in and see if anybody has any questions or thoughts on that. Yes, Valerie? You will have to unmute. I don't know if it's something that you have always said, and I just don't hear it. And I was doing the spinal, letting go of the spine today, roll down. Um, but I realized... I kept tightening my butt muscles. Now, I don't know if that's in response to because I was, you know, my low, I, I've been doing other things that have greatly helped, um, but not dissipated it entirely. And I realized <clears throat> while we were doing that, yes, that as I was rolling down, I kept having a tendency to tighten the butt. And I think that's my body thinking it needs to protect that. Yes. So that was very, very helpful. Thank you. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. It needs to, it's your, those butt muscles are, are clamping down to make sure you don't fall over. And, uh, and so a conscious reminder is a relax the butt, you know, is, uh, is necessary because we're all going to do that. We're all going to tighten up the butt muscles and, and just because that's a really primitive response to uh, to the stress of the fact that, oh my God, I'm gonna fall over and smack my face on the floor. It's like, no, you're not. But ah, we can relax and just trust the legs to do their work. Uh, Peter, you had something. Yeah, that was really good. You know, I, I it, it's sort of gradually getting better, both the, um, the spiraling down with more sum qua, uh, easy, it's getting easier. And then, uh, Going through the whole sequence of um, reclaiming lost territory was very helpful. That also improved uh, tonight. Uh, my question is about uh, uh, disappearing the energy. When we do that motion, what else do we do to disappear the energy um, besides just the motion? How do we disappear the energy? That, that's, a, that's a great question, Peter. Um, first of all, just, you know, the idea there of disappearing the energy is, um, is counterintuitive to, uh, for, for a lot of people. And that is a lot of people consider that they're doing their Qigong or whatever in order to store up their energy. And um, it's, it's a, a fairly popular conception and one that uh, I don't believe is, is accurate because we don't really 
hold on to energy. We, we, we don't store it. We circulate it through the body and we can create complex ways of circulating it so that we can get the energy to all the little uh, nooks and crannies in your body. But it's uh, once it's done its work, it goes just like your breath. You inhale, you let the, the breath do its thing. It exchanges uh, oxygen with the cells and then say, okay, it's carbon dioxide now, let's exhale. And you let that go. And so there's, it's a, a dynamic process. And the same thing is true of your chi. So when we are, we gather, and then as we push down, one, one helpful way of, uh, uh, I found is like imagining that there's like a, a plunger there and you're pushing down and shooting it out your feet and into the earth, okay. you know, so, okay. so clearing that that's a, that's a way of that's a way of, of visualizing it. But the the idea is that we are dissolving the uh, the energy in order to in order to to do that in order to control the chi that to that degree, we have to be able to assume a state of being which is actually beyond chi. You know what we would call shen or spirit. So we actually have to occupy a, a state of being which is more insubstantial than energy. And which is the fun part of this because we are completing the circuit. We've gone from Jing, which is the physical essence to, to Qi, which is the, the Alain Vital, the, the, the motivating force, and then to Shen, which is, which is spirit. So we've completed that whole thing within one simple little exercise. And it is a pattern which is, goes on throughout our practice, going from Jing to Qi to Shen. And uh, so as we're doing this, there's, we, there's a sense that, oh, the, en the energy itself is, is like, um, has the density of water, say. And you're just kind of pushing that down with our plunger. And to do that, we have to occupy a position which is even more insubstantial than the energy itself. It's, it seems similar to sinking the chi, disappearing the chi and sinking the chi. Are those very different? Um, I, I would say yes. One is uh, sinking the chi indicates I'm, I'm moving it from upper to lower. But still, it, you know, it's still chi is still, I'm still hanging on to this thing, this, this, this okay. substance. Okay. okay, and I'm saying, okay, Chi, you're in my head. I want you in my feet. I'm sinking, or I want you in my Dantian or whatever. And I, so I'm sinking it. Whereas the, uh, whenever I am uh, disappearing the Chi, I'm saying, thank you, Chi. Time to go now. Bye-bye. Yeah. And so, Maria, hold on one sec, yeah. You have to be willing to let it go. You have to be willing to let it go, Maria says. And, and that's true. You have to say like, oh, I don't need to hang on to this because I am plugged into the big chi and there is an infinite resource available to me. So I don't have to hang on to any piece of chi because it's just it's just like like breath. It comes, it goes. Scott. Um, <clears throat> what I do um, is since you know the chi, the, the chi is like all around us, it's not just in us, right? When I bring my hands up, I visualize that there's a ball of chi all the way around me, and I'm pushing the whole ball down and dissolving the whole ball into the earth. So that's the visualization that works for me. Cool. That's good. Good. And basically, you just want to want to say, okay, I'm letting go into nothingness, really. You're saying dissolving everything, and you're you're letting go of all attachments at that point, physicality, thought, energy, etc. cetera. You're, you're, you, it's practice at being, being a Buddha. The, um, the, plunger, the plunger thing for me, it kind of felt like when I was pushing it down, it was just squirting out the side. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand, yeah. 
Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Maybe like a like a syringe or something. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Anybody else? Cool. Keith had something before. Who? Keith. Keith, did you have something? You're on mute. Now, early on, I was mirroring what uh, when we were we were working on the uh, when we we're working on, on collapsing the spine. Uh, I felt using I was using my hamstrings, my thighs, my butt, unless but once I got everything stacked correctly, I was able just to release that effort. But I, I was using a lot of energy until I just got into the right position. So great, great, yeah. And that's that's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for how do we create a form that requires the least amount of energy to maintain it. You know, low maintenance, so that we can ah, then we can move on to even cooler stuff. Cool. So let's. Um, uh, what do we got? We got four, 20 minutes. All right. Let's. Uh, uh, we are in fall right now, and uh, fall is governed by the the element of uh, metal. And just a quick. We've covered this before, but I'd like to just in brief go over it again. And the the metal element. So of the five elements of the, the Chinese. Uh, uh, this is like the medical kung fu is, you know, the, the, and I guess philosophical as well. It's, you know, Im imagining that there are five phases and the year takes on, on qualities of each of those. And then those are reflected in the microcosm in your body as well. And so getting your energy aligned with the season is a way of, of, of going into resonance with nature with Tao and be able to, which then enhances your health by allowing you to, to move with the energy rather than, than fight against it. So metal energy, we are going from the yang chi, the expansive fire chi of summer. We're going down now to the yin chi of winter which is water and as we the direction we take is through the the element of metal which is going from yang to yin and it's characterized by the idea of shedding so like as the trees shed their leaves you know we are shedding the form that we assumed in the and the hazy crazy days of summer and we're moving toward the quieter softer restorative uh quality of of, of water and in, in the winter and so we shed and that's the, the 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 quality of metal and as a has a felt sense it's um in your body the metal energy is um, it's really connected. So this is where our tensegrity comes in. We're like, boom, where everything is, is, is really connected and uh, activated. So even though it's, it's sung, it's still, uh, the emphasis is on contraction rather than expansion in terms of, of the, uh, uh, the connective tissue. That is, it's, it's securing, you're pulling it more in the direction of taut rather than letting go. So the uh, uh, so there's there's a a quality of tensegrity there where we're activating that and we're connecting the dots and throughout the whole system. And uh, it's a short energy. That is, it's so if you were to pick a spot, you know, you you boom and you locate that spot in space and you're that's that's where it goes there are other energies where you're you go through your your the energy but this one is like no your your body picks that even though the energy itself continues 
So you locate that. So the, you think of it as like a punch rather than the punch going, keeps on going, it's boom, like that. And you know, you're, you're, there's a, an abrupt uh, abruptness to it. Think of a, uh, a, an ax and a log, you know, you're, there's, there's, a, there's an abruptness to it. There's a, uh, a, a finite motion. And so the, the energies of the, uh, you know, and this is a, in terms of martial expression, it's, it's, that, it's that quality, it's a, mm, there's, everything is, is very deliberate. There's a start, change, stop. There's a, a, a point, a fixed point, a target basically of where you're, where you're going for. So there's, it's also, it's, it's very sung, but also there's that quality of reaching with it. So we have fong, which is that reaching at the same time there's sung. So there's, we, both of those are, are happening simultaneously. So um, if you take your hand and, and just boom, just drop it without, without putting the brakes on, you know, you get, you kind of get the feeling of, you think of maybe like, like a hammer just dropping down, bam. You know, you're, you're striking a nail with a hammer. That's, that's metal energy. And so uh, uh, we're gonna do a little, um, few exercises and doing it with that quality in mind. Uh, first of all, any questions on, any questions or clarifications needed on, on what I just said there? We're good? Okay, so let's, uh, why don't you stand up again? Take a moment here and, and establish the three pillars. Feel the balls of your feet. Unlock the knees. Reach with the crown of your head. Tuck in the chin. Relax your lower back. Allow your pelvis to level out. Move to the elbows. Open the shoulder joints. Reach with the fingers. Establish your energetic coherence. Just take a moment to feel into the stillness as you do that. So we're going to do some uh, few exercises which we've done before as uh, we call them like foundation exercises and uh, very simple. But we're going to slow it way down. I'm going to talk to you. Let's see how far we get in it before we have to, to bail, but so, so you're feeling the balls of your feet, you set your knees, push away and uh, sink down into, into both legs. So your weight is 50-50. Rotate your palms, your forearms, so your palms are facing forward. And as you sink, into your into your qua, your sung qua, you reach up and carry and feel the wind. feel the space you're moving through as if you're moving through a viscous fluid. And you reach this point and it's like you stop and feel into that. So we're rotate palms down. And we're using metal energy, so we're coming, we're sinking and pressing down. Everything very soon, but reaching with the arms without tensing and feel that point there. You pick that spot there and feel that. And then rotate your forearms. and carry, feel the viscosity. As if you're standing in a swimming pool and you're moving through water, 
and stop and feel that and rotate. Press down, sink, reach with your elbows, your wrists, and stop. And feel into the stillness as you do that. Feel the energetic connection throughout the whole, the whole body mind as you do that. And rotate and carry, sink. Stop, rotate, and to the elbows, the wrists, feel the viscosity. Stop, rotate, one more. Carry. Feel the motion of your hands in your feet. Feel that connection all the way through so that they, everything is knitted together. The whole system is united in its motion. Rotate. Press down. Stop. And feel the chi, feel the metal chi, the whole body feeling very compact and united. Feel the chi sinking into your bone marrow. creating the steel bar wrapped in cotton. Your muscles are relaxed and your bones are getting very, very strong. And rotate, bring your hands up. Now we're going to rotate the forearms. So you set the elbows and turn. Notice that my elbows are not, I'm not moving at all. I'm just, just rotating from the forearm. Boom. It's a very deliberate, very um, exact motion. Relax your shoulders, reach with your elbows so that you're unlocking shoulder tension. Feel and then do, feel and feel first then do. Mobilizing the chi so you're feeling and then doing. One more. Feel, then do. And then pause and just feel into that. Feel the metal chi throughout your whole body. Feel your your energy extending down through your feet and into the earth. Feel the earth chi coming up and filling your body. Okay, one more. 
Uh, rotate your right arm and pull down. Reach out with your left. And bring your right hand up your center line, pulling down with your left hand and then reach out with your right. Feel that and stop. Feel that connection there. Left hand comes up, right hand pulls down, left hand reaches out. Right hand comes up the center line, spiraling down to the left as you reach out with the right hand. Left hand comes up the center line, reach down with the right and spiral down to the right. Right hand up, left hand pulls down, spiral down to the left. Left hand, spiral right. Right hand, pull down with your left. So feel those arms pulling in opposite directions there. Both hands down. Feel into the stillness. Feel the energy circulating in the stillness. Feel into your bones. Feel the chi energizing the bone marrow. Step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi. Letting it go. Dissolving into the emptiness, the stillness. Letting go of energy, thought, body. Take a seat, please. Keith. You know, I got to say, Rick, the in, going through those movements, the instruction and the guided image imagery, uh, walking us through that, that was really amazing. Wonderful. Uh, uh, you know, I totally felt the steel and, uh, you know, it were it, those later movements, which was fighting stance uh i mean i could feel the solidness and uh that was that was pretty heavy that was very similar to the shotokan uh kata 
uh, movements that, you know, I dabbled in 40 something years ago. It was, it was pretty heavy. Thank you. Cool. Good. Glad you, glad you liked it. Peter. Oh yeah. Um, that was great. The, uh, it was really very uh, strong and tangible when we were spiraling down and the top hand was going, reaching forward, the bottom hand was going down. It, and I felt that the connection between them, it was, it was not quite, you know, it was, it was almost as though a band went around my back, but um, that wouldn't make sense because it was energized when I was moving the hands opposite. Uh, like well, it, actually it would make sense but uh it was sort of uh like it was if you know it's amazing there was a connection with something i didn't know was there uh that that yeah anyway i'm just babbling but thank you no no you, you're actually right on trust your trust your instincts on that because you're 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 onto something there so there is a connection across the back it, and, is it a, it is it the connective tissue what what is the uh medium of the connection or the is the material of the connection is it connective tissue or all, all the above it's the whole system yeah yeah it's yeah it's happening on an energetic level it's happening on a uh on a muscular level it's happening on a connective tissue level it's happening on a skeletal level you know so there's so but it's something we're very seldom aware of Right. So getting getting an insight into that, you're the you know trust your feeling on that because that's exactly the right way. If you can get that that so that the arms are not, you know, they're 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 a united force, then you are amplifying your effective power quite effortlessly. That's well, that's kind of the game we're playing with here. So that uh, so. Good observation there. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all so much. Oh, Valerie, you had something? Well, that's tensegrity, right? What he was. It is tensegrity. Yes. yes. Yes, tensegrity. But it's a. Uh, yeah, it's it's tensegrity is happening. That's the connective tissue part, but it's also happening with all uh, lots of other things as well. So it's uh, you know, but you're right. It. It, it it's not not tensegrity it's but it's Part. yes and you know it's 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 uh so as soon as you start to feel that you open up the shoulder blades you're expanding your back you're opening up the shoulder joints you know you're reaching with your elbows it's like suddenly like whoa the game has has changed dramatically and uh it's become something quite uh, a lot bigger wow cool Thank you all so much. Great. Thank you, Maria.